Get ready for the next battle. Damn, I, get, I think this guy denied my primary as well. So change the extraction back there for a few years. A lot of them uh, back a shot start and then gets fast at the end of it. Round one. Yeah, I think Asker falls in that category. Like slow start up and then accelerates and then slows down again. Like that's why like I think a lot of people like ah oh, what was it? I seen like that video of people saying like backdash is nerfed and just like spamming Korean backdash and getting nowhere. It's almost like they did it on purpose to expose people who just can't carry him back dash, I think. I don't know if that was a meme or not, but it was pretty funny. Like, like the way I learned Korean back dash is like, if you can do it from crouch, you can do it. Right? Some people just mash it. Especially like on hitbox and that, on keyboard. You can we just mash it? But they're not optimizing the distance. So I think Tekken 8 catches those people out a lot too, because if you're just mashing it, like Necromancy said, the, uh, it accelerates now. It's slow at the start and then accelerates. So if you cancel your backdash too early, you get nowhere. There you go, that, yeah, King's example right there. So if you cancel King's backdash too fast, he doesn't get anywhere. You gotta wait till he gets the backwards momentum first and then cancel. I, th I think Raven's the same too. He's probably not as bad as King, but I just had to change the Korean backdash timing a little bit to optimize it. But like, in saying that, there's so many tools to get out of situations. Like, Power Crush is so good now. They fuck the shit out of Power Crush. Even if it doesn't land, it becomes safe as long as you absorb the move and stuff like that. Right there, for example. Did the power crush on Jad and he was safe. Oh, I remember the set now. I had the primo. I think I dropped them. Yeah, this one here. Oh my god. I just had to do. Yeah, he survives this. <laughs> I was trying to do core circle forward one and turn it to down forward one, and then I'm like. I tried to do one. Like, I tried. That's frustrating. I did two tornado moves and I dropped both tornado moves. Core circle forward one, two, turn into down forward one. So I try to save it with one, two, four, but it turned into one, four. Throw chain, make me use Froze. Yeah, I've definitely used Froze a lot more. I like it though. Like, it's like. People are saying, like, complain that it's like two paper scissors rock, but like. It's one having a hundred plus moves if you're not even using them, you know? So I like it. I'm a, I'm a fan of the changes anyway. Frame trap. Big I think people who have only played Tekken 7 are definitely gonna struggle to adjust. So like, Tekken changes every Tekken. <laughs> I remember like people playing Tekken 5 and then going to Tekken 6 and then everyone's playing like Tekken 6 sucks. Tekken 6 was good. Just people couldn't adapt, I suppose, or didn't want to adapt. You always, you always get changeover. We're playing every second, second five, and you always get people come and go. I don't think I've ever played a Tekken I didn't like. Actually, that's not true. I don't like any Tekken before Tekken 5 because Raven wasn't in the game yet. Oh, I learned a new setup for that too, eh? I'll show you the cool reset after I finish my place. All the laws are kind of fucked up. In Tekken 6? Oh yeah, yeah. I know. 
But that's what I mean, like, the people are complaining about June. Never dealt with Bob in Tekken 6. You know, or Shaheen in 7.0. That's probably, okay, I'll be honest, Leroy in Tekken 7 Season 3 was probably the worst version of Tekken I've ever played with Raven. I remember taking a break, I'm like, I'm not playing until they patch the shit. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, we ain't got a Kunimitsu or launch Leroy at the moment, but boy. Scrubs hating on King. Man, King's not even that bad. King King's good though. King King has so much untapped potential. I should watch some King mains at high level play King and see what they're doing. It was way more than it was T7 launch. What do you mean, like arcade? Or you mean console? Like, Australia got like the balanced version of 7.0 before. Like, day one Tekken 7 in Japan was yuck. But you just play, it, man. Like, it's new Tekken. Everyone's playing. Everyone's having fun. It's like you got broken stuff. I got broken stuff. Except Yoshimitsu. Yoshimitsu didn't have anything broken. He was just bottom, bottom tier, <laughs> legit. Remember, King used to have the multiple floor breaks with the throws. So you go Shining Wizard and the Shining Wizard and the Shining Wizard all the way to the bottom floor in the same combo. Lily had one, two, multiple floor breaks, unscaled. I remember the first tier list for King 7.0 was uh, Shaheen is S plus, and if King's on that floor break stage, he's triple S. Otherwise, he was like A. <laughs> oh man, like I want to play King. I'm not ready for that commitment though. Ready for the next battle. And leg break was safe as well. Leg break. What's that? The down back four? So this is this morning, eh? Like, I was on promotion chance. I woke up early, I'm like, I wonder if I can find anyone online, I just need to win one set. So I, I played at like 7 o'clock this morning, I found this dude, and the next person, and I promoted, I'm like, alright, time to make breakfast. <laughs> I was surprised to find a Fujin rank at 7 o'clock, so maybe they're like from New Zealand or something. Does that make it like 10 o'clock in the morning for them? Oh, so Muscle Buster wasn't bufferable. That makes sense. I, I think, like, yeah, Muscle Buster always seemed harder to land, but maybe that's why. I watch Time Zone on it. I'm in Queensland, yeah. So, like, well, it's like Melbourne and Sydney Daylight Savings. Three hours ahead, right. So, this guy probably is New Zealand then. That would make it 10 a.m. for my 7 a.m. Full crash down forward one. Is that what you mean by leg breaker? Yeah, you had to parry it. Because it's a slow start. There's like slow lows if you block them, they're safe. And that was sort of one of them. Remember, Nick used to spam it a lot. Round one. Fight. Man, like, I actually want to like play King in this game though. He he sort of like. Because I want to play King in the other Tekken. I'm like, ah, oh, those crabs are so cool, but I'm never going to use it at a high level. Now it's like, man, this guy reminds me of Zangief so much. Might play a pocket king. Not like, it wouldn't be tournament ready, but it would definitely be good enough to bash my friends and show off, I guess. 
like me and Jason had a set in online lobby. Uh, his Lars vs my king and it beat it, but that was a really rough king. Just had to just abuse the cheap stuff like the heat smash and running mix ups. Like, I understand enough about grapplers with 2D games. Like, I, I was, like, pretty much... What, what's the, um... Dambat 1 plus 2? The Gigas power armor thing? The armor? I was doing shit like Dambat 1 plus 2 into giant swing and stuff. Absorb the hit. Like, using, like, focus attacking in the SPD. Like, you'd, you'd never do that before with King, right? Absorbing a hit into a throw punish and shit like that. Uh, now taking out you can block most with power crushes and you get to do a giant swing or muscle blast as a punish. Some rage does. Yeah, like that's a that's a 2D thing, like punishing with grabs. Damn break it. Big breaks. Stay down. Just got it. What am I doing? Ran up and crash jab. Big power armor. So how's that armor work? Uh, does it does it absorb lows as well? Is it like the run in heat? Like, I, when I play King and Tekken 8, I play, I'm playing Zangief, I'm not playing King. Which is cool, like that's that's something I like about King now. Like if I was a grappler main from a 2D game, I would pick up King. I mean, that, that's probably a given, right? Like Stankos, I think he was playing King and stuff. But like the comparisons are very simple. There's definitely comparisons you can make now from a 2D game. I mean, I was frantic with this one. First game of the day, so... Damn, I brought this back, Jesus. Nice to come back. Nice. Crouching. Crouching. I think so. Just power crush armor, mids and highs, loses to... I think... When I got this dude, I was so close, but it wasn't close enough for a mighty rule to put it over. So I had to win it 2-0, and I, I nearly choked. I was choking hard. Resist. What is that noise? Resist. It's an explosion at the start. Right. Sound like the uh, ghost explosions from the, the bottom floor of the stage. I like this dude's outfit. Reminds me of the one I made. Went for a yellow one. Cowboy's hard. I can't even play Cowboy. And this guy was getting like this guy played well in the sense like he's like, all right, this guy has a Raven main. I'm gonna do stuff that will probably work on a Raven main. There's just something about seeing the big flashing promotion chance that just puts people. Until they like panic. It's like playing in tournament, right? Playing promo chance. Promo chance is like playing in tournament. So you have to win this game right now, right here, right now. Otherwise, the last 30 minutes to an hour was a waste of time. Maybe went for the big up. That that got me there. I was looking for the low. It's good to know that like it's unseeable from stance. I'm like, I was looking for the low slide and just ate the mid before I could even react to it. Ball break.
This guy kept going for that too much, eh? But I wasn't punishing it, so... Like, I parried it, but I shouldn't be, like, spacing it more, should it? What is happening? In the back? Oh, he reacted the slide, but it lift anyway. Staying down, that's a good option. Staying down. I suppose slide beats that, but slide's scary because they can launch punish it if they want. Well, let's come back, come back. Final round. So this is looking scary. Like it's closer than it should be for a Raijin versus a Mighty Ruler. Do you use the new dash buffer? Yeah. What's, like that? What's the new dash buffer? You mean like for running boots? I, I probably don't, I don't know what I'm about, so I'm gonna say no. Like I, pre I pretty much like the way I play Tekken is like I just if it works it works I just do it until it works. And if it doesn't work I gotta figure out like what well, I gotta change to make it work. So like uh, for my heat engage I do the running move. I couldn't do traditional running input anymore so I had to like do a completely different version. I still have trouble though because like sometimes I'll try to do running three and I just get a four like a three and four. Run up and do a mid poke kick. I'm like, what am I doing? The Raijin promotion chance. This guy nearly denied it too, it's crazy. Oh, it's funny, like, this guy, he kept uh, low parrying the low. Like, if you do the orbital to the low, you can convert to a full combo. So I'm like, alright, sweet, this guy's always low parrying on block. So I think later on in the set, I'm like, I'll cash out to get the mid knockdown near the wall to get like off. And I yeah, typoed the low again and he parried it and killed me. And I was like, oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do. Could you imagine you could get all the stage environments into one combo? Like, wall break, floor break, to the ghost explosion downstairs, that'd be huge. This guy had good patience, yeah. Damn, yeah, that a dash up there. Well, that was an accident. Yeah, there we go. Right. So at this point, I'm like, man, I gotta like save that for when I need to win or something. Which is what I, what I think that's what I tried to do before, but he like hit me out of the orbital. <laughs> I think that was it there. I try to do the mid. <laughs> oh no, goodness, there's. It's like it's slipping away. It's not over yet. Nice block. Oh my god, should have raged at it. Oh, I didn't buy it. I think he tried to do back to me, but I'm, I'm not low like, barrier. It's not worth it. Yeah, he had, he had this game. He gave, he gave me that last round. Kishin rank boys. My ninjutsu has evolved to a new level.